Welcome to Learning Math with Mr. Tan. Today I'll be talking about some basic properties of certs as well as how to simplify certs. Before we begin, let's talk about what are certs actually. Now certs are irrational numbers written with a radical and the symbol looks like this. Some examples of certs are square root 2, square root 3, and square root 10. And let's take for example square root 2. If you were to compute the value of square root 2 in your calculator, you're going to get 1.414. 213562. Now, what the calculator has done is to round off the actual value of square root 2 to a certain number of decimal places. And this is because the calculator can only display up to a certain number of digits. As such, this means that this value that you get is not as accurate as it should be. So, if you were to need to preserve the full accuracy of square root 2, then you will need to probably write it in its third form. Some known examples of certs are, for example, square root 4 and square root 81. And we all know that square root 4 is actually 2, and this is a rational number because it can be written as 2 over 1. So we say that square root 4 is not a cert. Some basic properties are, for example, property number 1. If we have square root of A multiplied with B, it can be broken up into square root of A multiplied with square root of B. So I'm going to numerically verify uh, property 1. So for example, if we were to key into the calculator square root of 6, and we get this um, 2.4498974278, for example. And if we were to key in square root of 2 multiplied with square root of 3, and you see that, oh, they are both the same value. So we say that square root of 6 can be written as square root 2 multiplied with square root 3. Next, let's look at property number 2. Square root of a fraction a over b is equal to square root of a over square root of b. Now, again, I'm going to numerically uh, verify this. So let's take, for example, square root of 3 over 7 inside the square root. Now, we're going to get this decimal 0 0.654653670071, right? Next, let's try to break up this fraction, right, into square root of 3, over square root of 7 and we see that hey numerically it is the same thing so square root of 3 over 7 can be written as square root of 3 over square root of 7 so second property is verified now the third property which i feel is just as important is what happens if you have square root of a and we square it. Now, apparently, it should be A itself. So how does it work? So let's see. We try to numerically verify this again. And then let's say we have square root of 3. And then we square it. Alright. So we indeed will get 3. So this concludes some of the basic properties. Next, we will look at how to simplify certs. So in example 1, we have simplified the following, part A, square root of 28, and part B, square root of 162. So we know that square root of 28 can also be written as square root of 4 times 7. And applying property 1, we can split this into square root of 4 times square root of 7. And since square root of 4 is actually 2, we can write our final form as 2 root 7. In part B, for example, we can try to use a calculator and divide 162 by 2 and we'll get 81. So that means we can express it as square root of 81 times 2 and also split this up into square root of 81 times square root of 2 and square root of 81 being 9, we can write it as 9 root 2. So this concludes example 1. So in uh, example 2a, we have simplify 2 root 3 plus 5 root 3 minus 4 root 3. 
Um, so think of it as we factorize out uh, root 3 and then essentially we're just taking 2 plus 5 minus 4 which is just uh, 3. Right? So we have our final answer 3 root 3 and that's fine. All right? In part B, we have 3 root 2 minus 2 root 20 plus root 32. So here we need to break down 20 and 32. So let's see how to proceed. So we have 3 root 2 minus 2 times of root 4 times 5. So we can break down 20 into 4 times 5. And um, we have plus square root of 32, which can be broken down into 16 times 2. Alright, so next we have 3 root 2 again, then minus 2 times of root 4 times root 5. So here we apply the first property, right, to break uh, the square root of 4 times 5 into square root 4 times square root 5, then plus square root of 16 times square root of 2. Okay, and uh, next step we have 3 root 2 minus... Now, 2 times of root 4. So we know that root 4 is 2. So 2 times of 2, which, which will give us um, 4, root 5. And then plus root 16 will give us a 4. So that is actually 4 root 2. Okay. So the only thing that we can simplify here, because only the first and last term contains root 2. So middle term we don't have. So we will we shall combine the first and last term. So 3 root 2 plus 4 root 2 will give us 7 root 2 and then minus 4 root 5. And that's as simple, uh, as simplified as it gets. So the last part, I just want to share with you the importance of checking your answers. And uh, we're going to use a calculator to verify our answers. So we're going to key in the original 3 root 2 minus 2 root 20 and plus root 32. So we get this uh, 0 0.955223026611 and then we are going to next uh, key in the final answer which is 7 root 2 minus 4 root 5. And we get the same numerical answer, so we conclude that our answer is correct. So that's it from me for today. And um, in the next video, I'll be talking a little bit about how to rationalize the denominator um, where we have a fraction and our denominator contains us and how we're going to rationalize the denominator. So stay tuned for the next video. And until then, have fun with uh, certs and study hard. Bye-bye.